Hey guys, it's Shannon. I'm back with another Simply Earth unboxing. You guys know this is my favorite subscription box that I get every month and I love it so much that I bring it to you guys to see as well because it's not only essential oils, but it's almost really like a DIY because you're getting recipes along with four essential oils every month. So it's really fun to create these recipes that are healthy and safe for your home and family. And I'm so excited about this month's box because it is a Halloween box. And if you don't know, my birthday is the day before Halloween. So I just love Halloween and this whole time of year. And this is actually, this marks my one year mark with Simply Earth. So I've been getting this for one whole year now. And I hope you will stay tuned to the end of this video. So I'll show you all the oils that I've collected over a year of subscribing to Simply Earth. So let me go show you what's in the October Simply Earth box first. And we'll get into creating some of these fun recipes. All right, let's open this October Simply Earth recipe box. And inside, well, we have our labels here, which are so cute. They have little ghosts on them and spiders in the witch hat. That is so adorable. And then, of course, our recipes are always right on top, too. So let's see what we can make with our oils this month. All right, so there is a Creepy Crawlers repellent, a Halloween candle, Halloween makeup remover. Well, that is neat. Energy roll-on an uplifting inhaler and last but not least blood of the dragon diffuser now that sounds fun i'm sure my kids would really have fun creating that one and then also in our box of course we always get our four essential oils so let's check those out first there is an energy blend next is cinnamon Rosemary, and last is Citrus Burst. So that was a look at our essential oils, and then on the side comes extra goodies that go with helping you create your recipes. So in here is a little bag, like a sachet bag, a linen colored one. There is an inhaler tube, which I'm sure goes with that inhaler recipe. And this is just something cute and fun. It's just a little spider, a little plastic spider. There is a wick in here too, which I'm assuming is for the candle. And it looks like one of those crackle ones. So I just might have to do that recipe, guys. And then also in here is candle wax. All right, I have to do it. I have to make this Halloween candle. And it calls for the rosemary essential oil, the citrus burst essential oil, of course, the candle wax, which actually is also all natural soy wax. The wick, the candle wick, and then a two ounce jar as well. Okay, so let me show you what I have going on here to create this Halloween candle. I have water boiling. I've added two ounces of the candle wax, which was in our box into a metal bowl so I can create a double boiler to melt this. I'm then going to add 10 drops of the rosemary, 20 drops of the citrus burst once this is melted. You also need a two ounce jar and this was an old candle that I just melted out um, that had burned down. You can use a mason jar like this or any kind of glass or uh, dish that you have. And then I'm gonna put the wick in the bottom of this, melt this all together, and then pour it in to create the Halloween candle.
All right, so we also have to do this creepy crawlers repellent because after I read the instructions, it sounded too fun and too cute. So we're gonna do this one next. You'll need the cinnamon essential oil, the empty sachet bag, this cute little plastic spider, and cotton balls. All right, so all you have to do is place your cotton balls into this little sachet bag. I have four cotton balls here. You can make it fuller or just use a couple if you want. And then all you have to do is add 10 drops of the cinnamon essential oils to those cotton balls. We're gonna tie this up. And then it says to glue the spider on the front of the bag, which I'm heating my glue gun up right now. And it says, place the bag in areas where pests may be tempted to steal your candy. And I just think that's so funny. But I'm sure this is great for keeping pests away, but cinnamon smells so good. But I think this would be so nice in a closet or in a drawer to kind of give you that nice fresh scent. All right, so I said stay tuned to the end so you could see my year's worth of Simply Earth essential oils. So I actually filled one whole Simply Earth box. This is one of those things that's in their uh, online store too. So I have a full box here. There are 36 oils in this box and I just recently ordered another box and this one is about halfway full and these are all just their oils. So a lot of your recipes that come monthly, you get blends. So you mix these and then you have little bottles that come in your bonus box so you can create your own blends with them. So that doesn't even include my blended oil bottles. These are all just Simply Earth's collection of essential oils, which are all available in their online store too. And then this is where I keep those boxes. I actually keep them in the coffee bar. So they are in the kitchen and ready to go and handy for when we need them. And they actually look really cute sitting on the shelf right there. Yes, I'm pretty much convinced that this was my very favorite box of the whole 2018. And there is still time for you to get this October essential oil box. All you have to do is go down in the description box below and I will have all the details down there. I'm gonna be honest too, I think this is probably the first candle I've ever made. So, so many fun little recipes that are also fun DIYs. And it's also a very healthy and natural candle for your home. I hope that you'll give this video a thumbs up for me. I will also have linked down in the description box below a whole playlist full of these DIYs from Simply Earth because like I said I've been doing this for a year now and I don't plan on stopping because this is my favorite thing I get every month in the mail. Make sure to subscribe as well. I do DIY tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.